Here in Dandong, at the beginning of the Ming Dynasty's Great Wall, we find ourselves standing at the onset of a great journey. Over the coming weeks, six people on three teams will crisscross China in an attempt to discover how the Chinese people are watching, celebrating, and debating the Olympics. Not all of China's 1.3 billion inhabitants will have a chance to go to the games themselves. We'll be speaking with many people to hear their stories and their opinions. Um, for the people that who have uh, reserved the tickets and booked the tickets on internet, they really want to watch the game on the sport. They want to go to the stadium and get, go to the swimming pool. They want to watch uh, the basketball matches and football matches. But uh, because it's difficult for all the people to go to see the live. So probably that watching TV at home is um, it's not a bad choice. At least that we can watch the games because this is really wonderful game once in four years. With the evidence here, we can easily see that China has before held great power. This is a nation of history and complexity. As China seeks to prove its international standing once again by hosting these games, we will be sending in daily video reports from throughout the country. Keep checking back. This is Tom Dooley in Dandong, China.